Hello everyone. My name is Ravi and today we are going to talk about Poke Audio Signature Series S55 Tower Speakers. I bought these speakers around a year back and I have been using these with my Yamaha AVR V585. If you're looking for my Yamaha review, I'll link it up here. Um, if you are looking at this uh, speaker unboxing uh, video, I'll also link it up here. So for the last one year, I've been using these speakers and they've been doing a fantastic job. So today we're going to talk about its long-term review and we'll do it in four uh, parts. First, we'll look at this speaker overview and specs. Second, I'll show the settings of the speaker in my AVR. Third, we will uh, play some test tracks, some interesting test tracks and different varieties. And at last, I'll give you my overall impression and conclusion. So let's get started. These are amazing looking speakers. I know that the I know that the look and feel is a personal taste, but to my taste, they look fantastic. Um, All good, but look at how oh, dirty it is. All of this is dirt. I'm gonna clean it up. Yeah. This is a nightmare. Look at this. Ta-da! They are not light. They weigh around twenty kg or forty four pounds. So moving them isn't that uh, that easy if, if you really want to keep moving your speakers. I feel that the, the feet that it has, the feet for some reason do not give me a lot of confidence. So I've had my concerns and worries with the feet that it's got. Um, so I've been very delicate and very careful with, uh, with this moving. Um, from one place to another place. Uh, here is a specs sheet of the speaker. As you can see, these speakers uh, have uh, have a very good uh, sensitivity. Uh, 90 SPL is 90 decibel SPL is very good. Uh, also, if you see, these speakers go as low as 32 hertz. So overall, very robust speakers on paper and in looks. Now let's have a look at its um, settings in the AVR. These are the settings I'm going to have while testing these speakers today. Uh, the speakers are by amped. The rest all uh, things are disabled because I will be playing only the front two, uh, front two towers. Uh, I've added 0.5 decibel to uh, the speakers to ensure that the mic is able to capture the sound effectively. And finally, here is the equalizer which is disabled. Now let's go ahead and play some uh, test tracks. For this video, I'm going to play around um, three or four test tracks. First, I'll play uh, an Indian classical, probably uh, flute. We'll start with the flute. Then I'll um, play uh, Veena and Sitar, uh, music Veena and Sitar. Third, I'll play an Indian classical music. And towards the end, we will play um, uh, Western um, music and we'll wrap it up with, with that. So let's get started.
So, uh, how did the test tracks uh, played out for you guys? For me, sitting in this room, uh, they played, they sounded amazingly well. I'm not sure how much of that experience was captured by my mic and was carried over to the YouTube to all of you folks. But um, if if you talk about me, I, I was totally thrilled going and auditioning and listening to all those varieties of test tracks. What I'll do, I'll upload another video where I will go ahead and make videos of extensive test tracks of different other equipments as well, along with fusion and uh, other music varieties and, and link and upload it uh, after this video. Now, do I recommend these speakers? Oh yes, I do. For the price, these speakers totally outclass the competition in their own price range. Um, again, music listening is very personal to somebody's taste. So what I like may not be liked by any of you. So I'll strongly recommend that before making any buying decision uh, on speakers, you go out and listen to as many speakers as you can. So with that, we come to an end of this video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and uh, see you guys next.